The two townships in the middle of a battle with the city of Cadillac over the so-called Cadillac Junction area have made an agreement. The boards of Clam Lake and Herring Township met in the same room last night to discuss an agreement that would once again hand over the Cadillac Junction property to Herring Township. Back in 2011, the legal fight between, began between the, after the two townships disagreed with the city of Cadillac's claim over the property. Now the Michigan Supreme Court has ruled on the case and the agreement was put forward as a final solution. The agreement itself nullifies the two previous agreements that gave the junction to Herring Township. The agreement also gives Herring Township control of sewer and water for the area. It was decided that in order to reaffirm the terms, the new agreement would have to be made. Both boards listened to a presentation from their joint legal counsel and Herring Township's engineer before letting the public voice their opinions on the matter. Many employees, including the CEO of the sole business on the property, j &H Family Stores, came to the meeting to have their voices heard. We're family. We're a work family. We try to be a community family. I, I find myself hooked into a lawsuit that's getting extremely expensive for me. Most comments made were positive, but one concerned citizen and neighbor to the gas station says he didn't like it being there. Otherwise, the board continued with their vote on the agreement, with Herring voting unanimously and Clam Lake having all but one member vote yes. Attorney Ronald Reddick re represents both townships and says it's important for the municipalities to work together during this process. From 2011 and earlier, the townships have been working jointly together with the same engineer to develop a utility sharing program. And since that's the, uh, the main feature of the Act 425 agreement, it's helpful to have them on the same page and working towards uh, a joint agreement. With the agreement reaffirming the position of the townships, the case now heads to mediation with the city of Cadillac. If no agreement is made there, the case moves to trial. Reddick says the settlement is possible if everyone can come to the table and agree. The fate of the JNH gas station and Tim Hortons attached to it is up in the air, but their owners signaled that they were more than willing to move forward.